Welcome back to Info Squad, where truth equals freedom. As the world continues to advance in wireless technology, more humans are being exposed to the radio frequencies they produce. This leads some people to raise concerns about the effects of living in these new communication signals, with a large portion of communities arguing that the dangers are being overlooked. At the center of this debate is the new 5G wireless communication system. For more on what exactly 5G is, watch our previous video on the 5G network, a video produced two years ago that is still incredibly accurate. So what is the truth about this technological radiation? It's not just the average person concerned about the health risks of 5G. Over 180 scientists from 40 different countries have joined together to speak out about the dangers of 5G. When I started in this business, almost no one outside the military was exposed to microwave radiation. Today, almost everyone is affected, and from the moment of conception onwards. I'm here to introduce you to an expert panel including a doctor and scientists who have a warning about the coming health conditions that are, that are predicted to rise if we blindly accept the next generation of 5G wireless technology. We are joining scientific researchers in 41 other countries including the US and the UK who are warning that 5G is going to pose a massive public health risk. In Switzerland, earlier this year, more than 2,000 people held a protest against the 5G rollout, forcing the Switzerland Environmental Agency to call for more research into the radiation produced by the 5G towers, even though Switzerland has one of the most developed 5G systems in the world. While test studies are difficult to find concerning 5G radiation, the few you do find have legitimate concerns about the mental and health effects generated by these signals. Some studies have shown that your sweat glands essentially act as small antennas allowing RF transmissions to penetrate even further than normal. Even with the current frequency range of up to 2.5 GHz being produced by 4G technology, the health effects are being recorded worldwide. The rise in brain tumors associated with cell phones directly matches the increased usage of wireless devices and is outpacing other known cancers. Deployment of 5G is particularly disturbing to those who have already developed sensitivity to electromagnetic pollution. In addition to the hundreds of patients being assessed at Dr. Bray's Environmental Health Clinic in Toronto, as many as one million people in Canada are believed to be sensitive, and this number is likely to increase with increasing exposure. The major symptoms include insomnia, chronic fatigue, chronic pain, mood disorders, poor short-term memory, difficulty concentrating, depression, heart palpitations that are interpreted as anxiety. Symptoms also include skin problems, dizziness, nose, nosebleeds, elevated blood sugar, and in extreme cases, loss of consciousness. Microwave frequencies are also shown in scientific studies to contribute to cancer and to damage sperm. Scientists and medical doctors across the United States and in the United Kingdom are requesting delayed deployment until testing can be conducted on the long-term biological effects of 5G technology. Male infertility has been steadily increasing as well, corresponding with more men carrying cell phones in their pockets. Even cell phone manufacturers themselves issue warnings of the hazards of carrying a mobile device on your body and recommend not holding them while you use them. And you can find this on many of their own websites. In fact, in every model of the Samsung Galaxy, the owner's manual always states that the mobile device should stay at least 1.5 centimeters away from your body at all times. This is about the thickness of a AA battery, but most men carry their phones in their pockets. Having the phone this close allows the radio frequency field of the phone to penetrate the parts of the human body and cause problems. Obviously, for men carrying a phone in their pocket, the reproductive system is the closest sensitive organ to this harmful field. These warnings are from the manufacturers themselves and it's been proven that big corporations routinely downplay numbers to sell more products. So the actual safe distance from the body could be even larger than 1.5 centimeters. The powerful effects of radio frequency emissions are nothing new to science. In 1948, 
After World War II, a researcher was working with a magnetron, a device used by radar. He had a candy bar in his pocket, and the microwave energy produced by the radar melted the bar in his pocket. After further development, microwave ovens were produced and sold across the nation. As 5G and other wireless technologies are rolled out, people remain concerned about the dangers and with good reason. More testing and research needs to be done before exposing humans worldwide 24 hours a day to these new communication frequencies. As the debates are swept under the table and censored by the mainstream media and big tech corporations, the reports are being published around the world that 5G towers are being burned in protest of the new wireless technology. The continued censorship of independent media reports on 5G only further validate the suspicions raised by researchers all around the world. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Leave us a comment down below. Don't forget to click the link in the video description if you would like to join the team. Like, share, and subscribe on your way out. And hey, we'll catch you guys in the next video.